the Dead Man Mode Winter Tournament of 2018. 2000 people are invited to this tournament and the last man standing walks home with $20,000. I have taken one week off work just to play this tournament and don't get me wrong, I don't expect to win, but I will be putting 10 hours every day to make sure I perform the best I can during the final hour. The plan is very simple, I will be rushing banshees together with 3 friends. This is a great money making method for early game content, they drop a lot of alcohols. However, there is a lot of risk involved, running through multi areas, running to areas with a lot of PKers, and if we mess up a single step, the entire plan might be ruined. Holy sh! So we managed to get ourselves two banshees and we stayed here for about one hour and by that time we had enough money to get ourselves 43 prayer. <laughs> Dead. Oh, sorry. Oh. oh my god. I just accidentally misclicked on a teammate. <laughs> oh, I got a 10k key. Nice. I just got another kill. I forgot to record, but he had 5k supply drop, 10 prayer potions, and 50 snipe grass. Do you guys remember the guy who killed Bodhi? With a dragon war hammer for a 35? This is the same guy. Ooh, I'm doing damage on him. Ooh, -hoo. oh, I that sounds like a YouTube commentary. Oh, here we go. I got a hit HP level. 58 HP. He's dead. I come correct. Is dead. <laughs> oh hey. my god. Highlight and we got the red key as well. Pay tax and I will off. <laughs> tax time, ma'am. Oh, she gave me 8k this time. <laughs> These keys may look like shit, but they are actually worth a lot in the start of this tournament. So my best money making method this tournament, believe it or not, it wasn't PKing, it wasn't agility pyramid, it was actually collecting taxes from people. And since I was collecting money as I was training range, this was a very sustainable method to keep doing for the entire first day. 13 k key, I got 7 shins. Final 52 prayer, we can now do smite. Ricky roll, wait I got a kill. We got 2 more keys, um, they are shit. I have to prepare myself for the desert treasure. We need 50 fire making, 53 thieving, and a lot of quests done. Let's do it. Level 50 thieving, 3 levels to go. That's 53 thieving, that's 50 fire making, another requirement done. Just quests left now. Run. And before we continue on with the quest requirements for Desert Treasure, we're gonna do some barrows. The first chest of barrows on dead man mode. Bruh, 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 bruh. This is going to be the last barrow chest. It's so late, it's currently 5 a.m. I've been up all night. Six kill count on the barrow chest. Let's see what we get. Bruh. So I am back, I got myself 5 hours sleep, and I was thinking about the last time I did barrels, it was on my hardcore Iron Man. I did 90 kill count of barrels, I got 0 items. So I feel like the RNG has to turn at some point, and I hope it's on this tournament. Oh, uh, let's see what I get today. That's a nice brew supply drop, very nice. Well, since that guy is there, I can't really do barrels anymore, so let's do some quests. And before we move on with this video, I'm very close to hitting 100k subscribers, so if you want to take part of this goal of mine, make sure to subscribe right now. Drink from it, do not take it, use the urn on it, use the urn, else the, the room and you will be flushed away. <coughs> 
And that's 30 attack and 30 strength. Woo! Not too scared. Yeah, whatever. Quest completed. Thank you, Stefan. There we go. Quest complete. Three more quests to go. Woo! Temple of Ikov completed. Now, it's time for Dig Site. Hey guys, it's Framed. I'm here today to bring a quest guide done easy on the quest Dig Site. And that's the Dig Site quest completed. And this is the final quest requirement completed for Desert Treasure. Tourist Trap have been completed. But just before we do Desert Treasure, let's go back to Barrows. Woo! First, Barrows just back. Mm. Woo! Nothing. I can feel it. This is the chest where I end the dry streak. Just look at this. So there is a theory I've heard. It says that if you clap three times, you're gonna get a Barrow's Helm. So we're gonna try this theory. Let's go, Darrow's Helm! Oh my god! Wow! I have no plans in completing Monk Madness 2 where you can get the Zenites for the Ring of Sufferings for the final hour of this tournament. However, there's a clan who has locked down the quest, so no one outside of the clan can complete the quest until now, because me and my clan are going to try to take them out, so everyone who's actually going for the quest, they can actually complete it as well. Oh, oh, I typed a message. We're gonna door ourselves. <laughs> I don't have pit, come on! There we go. Look, everyone is a good gorilla or a ninja. I'm just a basic monkey, look at me. Oh fuck. Oh shit, I messed up. So as I came back from the fight after my big mess up, the fight was basically over. I managed to attack the last guy falling. However, I still managed to loot myself 40k while the rest of the team went on to complete the quest. This is it. This is it. We're getting it. Our first drop. Woo! Currently 16 kill count dry. The drop rate of a barrel's item, a single barrel's item, is 1 in 17. If I don't get an item in the next kill, I'm going elsewhere. Yes, uh, something finally. Range potions, 8 of them. This is some good money. Nice. 60 defense. Can we finish off with a good, good, very good drop? No, we can't. We're leaving this place, never coming back. Well, maybe... Maybe another day, but not today. So during this tournament, I really want to stay healthy throughout the week, which is why I've prepared my fridge, vegetables, takeaway food, fried chicken, gorbis piroger, eggs, kebab, bananas, and a lot of frozen food as well. It's not that much, but my fridge is usually always empty, so it's quite a lot for me. <gasps> yes, the jackpot. Woo! This is worth a lot. I forgot to record it, but I managed to sell the rune crossbow for 120k, I bought a bunch of supplies, and I kept the other rune crossbow in the safe deposit box. Second trip done, we made like 40k, very nice. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of Desert Treasure. Funny thing, even though we have all the requirements for Desert Treasure, apparently you need to have completed Edgar's Ruse to get the Ice Diamond. And that is Edgar's Ruse completed. There we go, we got the Ice Diamond. Let's move on to the next one. Three to go. Honestly though, what would I even do without Slay Music 1? Body. <gasps> there we go, we got Diamond. See ya man, I'm not dying today. That's three out of four. One to go. Okay, it's time for the scariest diamond of them all. Five left. Four left. Three left. Two left. One, last one. No, never lucky. Just take my luck, please. Just take them. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got a cross. We got the cross. Yes. Oh, he's dead. Finally. 
Quest is almost completed, guys. This is great. Here's the riskiest part. If someone kills me with the four diamonds, I have to redo everything. We did it. We actually completed the quest without dying. I'm so happy. I'm very happy. There's a treasure completed. Day two. Well done.